this guy right here, this is Duke, this is Papa. And that's the mom right here, this is Zyla. And then that's Papa Ox, the one I had the longest. But he's a big old boy. He's only four months, and he's been with his mom already. This is their area. Peep that, that's Austrian leather right there. That, that's fresh. Ox don't like people messing with his couch. You know, that's neither here nor there. Duke, sit down. And these are my, my kids right here. These are my kids. I had Ox for three years. I've had her for a year and a half. And I've had him for four months. Always had dogs. Used to be a rock rally man. I'm open open the kennel after I you know, start winning some of these fights, you know? Just getting everybody situated, papered out, and shot up, and get them all pretty clean. Right now, we went out this weekend, we're a little dirty, got a little dirty in the house, but you know, sometimes you got to go play with the kids outside. Everybody's like, oh, big piss, man, you got a lot of trouble. Like, no, nah, man, I've been, I just talk to them normally, you know? I just talk to them how I want. They do what I say all the time, you know? I mean, sometimes they be cutting out line, getting into the old stuff. You know, I just put them away or something. Never run out. Check out the rider. I'm Bubba Jenkins. I'm 23 years old. I'm from Virginia Beach, Virginia. But I was born in um, Frankfurt, Germany. I think I'm a dual citizenship. I have to ask my mom. We gotta check with that one more time. Yeah, I was born in Germany. My, my, my peoples had money back in the day. My dad uh, was a gold mine in Africa. And, things like that. I got my first fight in Germany, kindergarten. Kid took my snowball, <laughs> a little fat kid, but I beat him up. And then we moved off to Indiana and then to Virginia where, you know, I learned how to wrestle and I, you know, learned how to become an athlete because, you know, Virginia's where we breed them at. Virginia's got a lot of the best athletes in the world, you know, and that's where you know, I, I, I pride myself being from, you know, Virginia Beach, Virginia. I learned wrestling in Indiana, but when I got to Virginia, I used those, you know, basic skills that I learned to, you know, become better at being wrestler because, you know, in Virginia, it was about being more of an athlete, more about being faster and quicker. In, in uh, Indiana, it was a little bit more basic, you know, six of the fundamentals. So I had, you know, a little bit of a mix of both. So it was, it was real good. The fact that you can do something where, you know, it's just all, everything you learn with your body, you know what I mean? Elbows, knees, I mean, you can do everything and it's just all what you see and learn and what you, you know, repetitiously do. You basically make your body a weapon and, you know, that's something that I'm fond of. That's something that, you know, I, I don't need a gun, I don't need anything like that, man. I gotta protect my family, I can, you know, I can do that with, with my knucks right here. Or with this boy right here, big ol' rocks right here. There wasn't too many places I wasn't recruited by. Maybe some of the uh, private schools and stuff like that. Maybe some of the higher end uh, colleges because of my grades. And I was I was about a two five guy. My schooling didn't really reflect my my brain. You know, it really didn't reflect how smart I was. It just be I just was kind of more to be there for the sports. And as long as I can stay eligible and stay on the mat and improve that way, then you know I was okay with it. Penn State is where I was signed with. I went to Lehigh for a visit. I went to Nebraska for a visit. I went to Tennessee Chattanooga because they had all-star coaches. Penn State just felt like home, you know, at the time. I was, you know, Matt Derland recruited me and I was there with Hughes. And I mean, it was, it was just a good experience for me for the first four years until, you know, I shipped up and shipped out. <laughs> it was a good transition, man. It was, it was the right move. Ended up getting the national championship, you know. Go Sun Devils, go Sun Devils. It was the thing to do, and because I was in the cold at Penn State, you know, being in Arizona was, you know, nice out all the time. I mean, sometimes it got hot, but more times than not, it was pretty nice. Hello. All right, sit down. Stink. This little heart of Let me put y'all onto this. Go get it. Arizona Strawberry Colada, son. This is where it's at. You get nothing less other than this. See, I leave Ox outside. Nobody be messing with Ox. He just sit there and chill. He'll wait for me. As soon as I come out, he'll be right there to pick up and keep moving, you know? What made me getting into wrestling was the fact that my father died. You know, uh, basically his, his muscles and his body just shut down. That really hit me hard because, you know, I was like, a, I was a daddy's boy, you know. I went everywhere with my dad, tried to be like him, wanted to be like him. And, you know, I got in 13 straight fights after my dad died. 
13 straight days. You, you did anything, you breathed wrong around me, I was socking you, punching you, doing something, man. I was, I was very, very angry after that. And my mom was like, you know, we basically don't want you to be a statistic, so you know, we need to put you in the school or put you into something. So wrestling was the first thing I did, and then I think I went 60 and won my first year. I, I try to tech people, I try to embarrass people. My thing was being slick and smooth and also powerful, you know. I try to very just beat up on people a lot of the time. There was a, you know, as you can see, being a national champ, man, slicking people. I didn't like pins because people would be like, oh, he pinned, you know, I slipped, I, he got, he caught me or something like that. When you text somebody, you can't get, you can't get caught 15 times, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a lot of caught, my man. That's, that's a lot of times he caught you. So, I mean, to text someone is, you know, morally dominating, it's physically dominating, it's something, you know, even, even the guy who texted him gets tired, you know? It's, it, it's, it's hard to beat somebody's ass like that, you know? Wasn't player, player wasn't papa, papa loved the ladies, never got enough of